Welcome everyone, today we have a new guide video for Diablo 4. And due to a lot of popular requests on PvP build, today we'll be looking at the PvP Druid Earth build. So coming over to our notes, what I'll do is I'll give you guys a summary of the build highlights, which are quite interesting. There's a lot of special mechanics we'll go through, a lot of procs, a lot of damage dealing potentials, and also a lot of PvP methods, including stuns, immobilize, and also knockback. We'll also be going through the spirit brooms choices for the druid and also the type of skills at the start of the video. So coming over to highlights, this build is interesting because it uses a special effect with earth spells of the druid called Crushing Blow. Just to give you guys a small summary of Crushing Blow, so this is some of the notes I found on the internet. Because we're currently in beta, those are fully not finalized. So there are some conflictions even within the notes. Over here it says it is dealing damage that is not current life. Later it says it deals damage on the current life. But regardless, while you are dealing damage with your earth spell, there is a chance of dealing crushing blow onto the enemies. And over here we can see that when crushing blow is triggered, we can be dealing a proportion of the monster's life, up to 25% on normal monsters, 10% on players or hirelings, and also 12.5% on champions, uniques, and so bosses. And there is a trigger chance for Crushing Blow, of course, but with certain items, it is possible to get Crushing Blow to 100% chance. So you always be doing bonus damage with Earth Spell. Now, currently, we're not sure exactly of the all the list of items, but there's likely going to be legendaries and also FX and also rare items that can provide us with more Crushing Blow chances and also more multiplier to this particular theme of the Druid. Now, because Crushing Blow can do consistent damage to bosses and also players to a proportion of their life, which is a percentage, this can be very powerful against you know the world boss and also very powerful against players in PvP. Now, because our build is going to be an Earth Druid, our Druid will be having a lot of method to gain resource, and you'll see there is also a lucky chance to hit for instantly restoration of all of your resource. Our build will also focus on stunning enemies and also immobilizing them. So there's a lot of way to stun enemies with earth spells. And also we deal tremendous boost of damage when enemies are stunned. Our build is also very durable with barriers, fortify, and also unstoppable. On top of that, when enemies are stunned, you can be dealing overpower damage to them with earth spells. And also you deal bonus damage with overpower because you have high life and also high fortify life. Our build also have a really high critical rate chance, and also with the capstone perks of the earth spells, we can get 100% guarantee critical hits with a 5 to 25% chance of the trigger rate. We'll go through this with you guys, and likely we can always get about 15 to 20% trigger chance with this particular trigger. And this means more critical hits and also more full of energy, because when this triggers, we get maximum energy. And finally, of course, the build is ideal for PvP if you want to try the Druid in PvP. So the build will turn you into a moving turret. You have lots of stuns, lots of AoEs, and also lots of great life percentage damage. And enemy will be knocked back or also be immobilized by your spells. So there's a lot of control, lots of damage, and you're also very durable. Now quickly going through the type of skills we'll be using. Most of the spells will be Earth spells. So the first one will be the basic Earth Spike. This have a multiple chance of triggering earth spells as you land stuns and also mobilize, which is quite nice as we go through the skill tree. The next one we have for the core skill is going to be landslide. Followed by that we have earthen bulwark, which will be the essential defensive spells we have and also fortifiers. As for the companion, we can go with a vine creeper. This allows us to have increased critical chance against enemies who are rooted and who are immobilized, and this can also be good for the PvP. As for the wrath spell, we'll go with boulder. This also have a chance of knocking back enemies, which is going to be great in PvP and also give us bonus damage when enemies are knocked back. As for the ultimate, this one is a little interesting. We could go with lightning spell or could go with earth spell. And because we want to focus a bit on PvP, having a massive AoE control for petrify is going to be very good. You also deal bonus damage to enemies who are petrified. Our capstone is going to be Earth and Might, and for this particular capstone, there is a lot of proc rate, a lot of fun with instant restoration of spirit, and also you know 100% critical chance as you trigger those effects. Now coming over to the skill tree, what we'll do is we'll go through the spirit bone first with the choices of animals. So one of the reasons I'm picking a snake as the two effect choices I'm in most to bond is for the obsidian slam. The Obsidian Slam allows Earth Spells to have a 15% chance to stun enemies. And while enemies are stunned, then we also can deal overpower damage, which means bonus damage for life and also fortified health. And although this doesn't affect bosses, when bosses are stunned you can't do overpower damage, the chance of stun is really nice. We want to stun enemies, and one of the focus of the build will be critical hit and also stunning. 
When you stall enemies, you get so many benefits. And after that, the calm before the storm is also not bad. The lucky hit chance is 15% to reduce your ultimate cooldown by 2 seconds. And if you're gonna PvP with this spell, with your ultimate with Petrify, you will be stunning players a lot, and you can stun enemy, you know, monsters a lot too. And while they're stunned, you deal increased damage. Now for the other animals of choice, for the eagle, I decided to go with increased critical chance, because you want to crit, and when you crit, you get lots of benefits as well. As for the wolf, I'll be going with energized, because the build will focus on getting a lot of energy, and you know, having a 15% chance to restore 10 spirit is actually not bad. Of course, you can consider going with Fortify of your maximum life if you want to be defensive. And extended duration of the ultimate by 25% sounds nice, but you are ex extending 3 seconds into like, how much is that? About close to 4 seconds. And finally, in terms of deer. Now, the thorn always seems interesting, but I did go with maximum spirit. Simply because you restore a lot of spirit, and your ultimate, your, your capstone, gives you a full spirit back. So the higher maximum spirit you have, the more benefits is your capstone. And this means that, you know, maximum spirit is actually not bad for the build. Of course, you can go with reduction from damage from elites, or maybe reducing incoming control effect is very good for the PvP. Now, coming over to a skill tree. What I want to do for this skill tree is, I want to quickly show you guys the capstone, then we start with the choice of spells, and you see my reasons behind it. So the capstone over here, we have Earth and Might. So there's three poc rate. So in order to show you guys this one, remember the numbers 5, 15, and 25%. What that means is, at 5% chance, this is the basic chance. Whenever we cast Earth spells that deals damage to enemies, 5% chance of getting Earth and Might. And this chance is increased to 10%. Actually, this means it's increased 10%, not 15%. I actually did this a little different. So this chance is increased to 10% when we critical strike hits and a further 10% when targets stun or knockback. So that means this is also a little mistake. So it's 5, 10, 20%. So what that means is when you critical strike, your chance of getting earthen might is 10%. I do believe that, not 15, right? And after that, when you also hit enemies who are stunned, immobilized, and also knocked back, we have all three effects. Your chances of trigger Earthen Might is 20%. So what does Earthen Might do? Earthen Might gives you all of your spirit back, so full of resource of energy. And then you deal 100% critical chances for 5 seconds. So that means every hit is going to go critical hit, and you'll be super strong, like super sane druid, for the next 5 seconds. So this spell itself revolves around you stunning enemies and also having critical hits, and also dealing damage from the earth spells. And this is will be the focus of the build. So coming over to our basic spells, we'll be going with Earth Spike. Now because Earth Spike is also an earth spell, it can trigger crushing blow, so keep that in mind. So Earth Spike will deal damage to enemies and also impaling them. Now Earth Spike have a chance to stun enemies for 10% for 2.5 seconds. So right away you can see it's not bad for PvP. And also, will summon another Earth Spike when hitting immobilized or stunned enemies. So this can trigger twice when they're stunned, and we'll be stunning them a lot. And also remember, Earth Spike is Earth Spell. So hitting enemies with Earth Spells, 15% chance to stun again. So going into the next part, we have Landslide. Landslide is also Earth Spell, and this one will summon three pillars hitting enemies. Landslide also have a chance to immobilize enemies. Again, this comes back to stun, immobilize, and also knockback. And while Landslide is, you know, against stunned, immobilized, or knockback enemies, its critical chance is massive increased, and so is critical damage. And we'll be doing that a lot, right? So this is a very good damaging spell. Together with a passive that allows us to deal 30% more damage with a core spell, this is really good. We don't really mind the increase of spirit, because we have so much gain of spirit, and also full of spirit with a procs. In terms of the passive over here, I ideally think we may be going a melee druid, so we get about 9% critical chance against close enemies. Now, if it happens that you'll be, you know, you'll be dealing range damage, then coming over here to Nitrous Rich, and then you'll be dealing 9% increased damage to distant enemies. And when they are controlled, you'll be doing, you know, double effects so or 18 more percent damage. So rather you want the 9% or 18% damage for ranged, or you want the 9% critical hit chance, it's up to you, and also your playstyle. Now coming over to the defensive tree for the druid. 
I do want to have a spell that provides us with a shield, absorbing damage, and also makes us durable, because the druid won't be that mobile. So ideally, you want to be the torrent against players or against the monsters. So, 5 points into Earthen Bulwark, and also, we'll be going with these upgrades, so we get Unstoppable, which is quite important against monsters and also players. And after that, we also gain base life as Fortify. This is also very important, because once you have high enough Fortify, you gain 10% reduction to your damage income, incoming damage. And also, the higher Fortify we get, the more overpower damage we'll deal. Now, for the choice of Companion, we'll be going with Vine Creeper. You don't have to go with too high level of Vine Creeper, because this spell is ideally for the routine effect, and also immobilizing, and also critical hit effect. So when activating Vine Creeper, we'll be immobilizing enemies for 3 seconds with this upgrade. And while enemies are immobilized, you have an increase of 20% critical strike against them. Critical strike chance. And this is really good for critical hitting, and also proccing lucky hits. Coming over to the Worth skill tree over here, we'll be going to Boulder. Boulder is another Earth spell for the Druid, and this one will be rolling a Boulder, knocking back enemies and dealing damage to them. Now for the Boulder, this also have a chance of slowing enemies and also providing knockback, which is really nice. And also this Boulder, which hits the first enemy, will also provide you with vulnerability, which increases enemies' damage taken by 20%. Now one of the highlights with Boulder is that during PvP you can be knocking back enemies, and I do believe if you knock back correctly onto an obstacle, they get kind of stunned and knock falling over for 1.5 seconds. I'll double check on that mechanic as well. And because of the dual spell, uh, spells that knocks back and also stuns, because of the spell not only they have their own innate routine stunning, we also have the Obsidian Stem, which has a 15% chance of stunning enemies as you cast those spells. And also, to deal more damage, we have the Druid Special Crushing Blow. So the Crushing Blow over here will deal more damage. Now some of the nice passive over here are going to be Crushing Earth. So Earth spells will do another 15% damage to all the enemies you have controlled. And you have so many control, right? And also Stone Guard. While Fortify for 50% of your maximum life, your Earth spells will do 12% more damage. Now do keep in mind, you have to be Fortify for 50% of your maximum life. If this happens frequently, then pick this perk. If this doesn't happen a lot, you don't have to pick this, you can go elsewhere. And finally, we can go with Safeguard. Critical Strike Hit with Earth Spells will fortify you for 0.88% base life. You'll be hitting a lot of Critical Strikes. You have so much critical chances, and also this is 100% guaranteed to hit Critical Strike for 5 seconds with the capstone. So this is why I think you should be able to get to 50% of the Fortify for your maximum life. Now finally coming over to the ultimate section, we'll be picking Petrify. On the first look of Petrify, it is definitely not a great spell to against, you know, hordes of enemies, but it's going to be a very powerful PvP spell. And Petrify will petrify enemies, stunning them for 3 seconds, and you'll deal increased critical strike damage. Keep in mind guys, your hits are pretty much guaranteed to critical hit. And then the Petrify duration goes to 4 seconds, and also Petrify, if you kill enemies while well petrified, you also gain 25 spirit. So unlimited energy, and also unlimited critical chances. Now the other choice you have is also go with Lightning Spell, with Cataclysm. Cataclysm. Now with Cataclysm, it is 80 second cooldown. It is moderated Lightning damage, but ideally we are not going into the perks for the Lightning Spells, so this won't be the strongest. But if you do want prefer more damage over stunning enemies, you know, let's say if you're not PvP, you can go with Cataclysm. Cataclysm. And this is also the reason behind it, because if you go with Resonance, your Nitro damage together with Stone damage will allow each other to deal 3 times percent bonus, so which you get 18% bonus damage because of this. But if you don't cast any Stone spells, this will only be 6%. Now we also have some really nice Nitro perks over here, so the Nitro spell deals 12% damage to elites, and also Earth spells will deal you know, 12% more damage to vulnerable enemies. And over here we also have the natural magic spells that consume spirit will restore our life, so this will be a form of healing. Now over here we also have some defensive perks which allows you to have higher fortify, and also when you are attacked or hit by enemies, 15% chance to fortify for more life. Now there is something I want to mention over here as well for this particular passive, Unrestrained. So if you're going for PvP, you definitely probably don't need the spell for Resonant. Not Resonant, you can come over to Unrestrained. This means you have a massive reduction to crowd control effects, and also this is even better when you're fortified. And triple effect means you minus 27% of crowd control. Together with this, and also with this particular perk over here, so you get as a 15% reduction to crowd control. This is going to be really good. 
And if you do find yourself getting crowd controlled a lot, you can also go into the thick height. So what that means is we can take away a little bit of the other spells. Let's say if you're not doing that much with the spirits, you can come over here. So this is going to be ideal for the branch for PvP. Over here is more damage and also more regen for the PvE. Now we have talked about the capstone section, so we don't have to go over this again. We talk about this at the start of the skill tree. So coming over to a codex. So codex of power, a lot of choices. And because you want to be defensive, you can be picking a lot of the barrier choices and also you know, more barrier choices if you want to be defensive. Now I did forget to mention the defensive perk for Aspect of Mandolin Stone. Because we're using Earthen Bulwark and also this spell will be a defensive spell, increasing this spell by 6 seconds and also killing enemy with Earth spell replenishes the active Earthen Bulwark barriers is going to be very good. So make sure you guys look into these defensive aspects while using this particular spell. And as for our fins, the two things is we'll be knocking our enemies, stunning them. So what you want to pick is going to be Aspect of Plumbing and Aspect of Retribution for 30% increase and also 40% increase up to 70% damage increase against enemies. And you also stun distant enemies. So this is really good for PvP as well. Now some of the other notable choices is going to be Crushing Stone. Earth spell deals 40% more critical damage to crowd control enemies. Well, everybody's going to get crowd control by you, right? So this is good. I did pick this one as well, so Aspect of Retaliation. Because we have a lot of Fortify, and you Fortify yourself when you critical hit, your core skill will also deal 20% more damage based on the percentage of Fortify. So, not bad. And over here I did have a click typo with Overcharge Aspect, we don't need this, because we don't deal lightning damage for now. Now the Shippers Aspect allows our core spell to deal additional damage for each active companion. It's not really massive. And we only have like one or two active companions, so this is not a big deal too, if you don't have the Codex. As for Resonance, we definitely want to gain more resource with crowd controlling enemies. But if you find yourself with a lot of spirit, you don't have to pick this as well. And over here, and then there's a typo. So I'll show you guys the final one later. And of course, the highlight is going to be one of a utility spell. Against a horde of enemies, you want to keep them stunned and also immobilized and also knock back. So while controlling enemies, if one enemy is hit by you, there's another 30% chance of the controlling effect spreading onto other enemies. So this one is going to be very good. Shared misery. And we can of course go with Ballistic Aspect. Because we have fortified life to Earth skills, we also gain the plus 3. I'm not sure if this is plus 3 to skills or plus 3 to fortified life. We'll find out soon. But we don't have the location right. Location won't be available in beta. This is the Juetic location slogan. Slogan? <laughs> I can't pronounce it. And of course, we have Aspect of Quicksand. Damaging with Earth skill slow enemies for 25% for 5 seconds. Really good PvP spell, right? You slow, you stun, you, st you immobilize, you knock back. So that's why you're going to be strong in PvP without the control. And finally, for some mobility. You can see that our mobility won't be very high. So 8% movement speed increase won't be too bad. And ultimately, will be a moving torrent. So mobility is okay, because you'll be critical hitting a lot of time. Now hopefully you guys enjoy this hybrid of a PvP and also PvE build. I do think this is one of the powerful jeweled build that combines everything. A little unfortunate, I was not able to combine the final part, which I kind of want to have some of the lightning spells in the free as well. So I want to have some lightning spells, lightning damage for the boost of natural damage. But we obviously don't have enough skill points for now. But maybe when we have legendaries and also, you know, special items with skill points bonus, we can perk into lightning damage, and this can allow us to deal bonus damage to earth damage as well. Now before you go, and if you guys didn't know, we have a new YouTube channel. So I just started a YouTube channel with my girlfriend yesterday, and you can see this is only 12 hours old, this YouTube channel. And if you guys haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and check out the behind the scenes and also fun clips and also more stories about us. And then you get to know me a little more personally, instead of just reading the news and also the games, right? So I want to share a little bit more with you guys. So make sure you check this channel out if you're interested about Matt and also Uni. She's really funny too, and she's really shy, so I want to give her a surprise and do a shout out for the new channel to get some subscribers. <laughs> Thank you guys. I'll see you guys next time.